Book Summary How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less by Nicholas Boothman Ever heard someone say, People might not like me at first, but when they get to know me, they really like me? That's all well and good when you have the option of letting someone get to know you over a long period of time. However, sometimes you need to make a good impression, and you need to make it fast. We've all been in situations where failing to connect with someone quickly cost us a job, getting our way, or even a second date. So, how do you make a quick connection that leaves a positive impression? In Nicholas Boothman's How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, he explains how to make a great first impression, and fast. Read on to learn why eye contact is key, why your body language could make you seem untrustworthy, and what to say to connect with someone you've just met. Believe it or not, most people have already developed a good idea of how they feel about you in the first second and a half that they interact with you. Pretty fast, huh? Even though that snap judgment is made quickly, you can still influence the way people feel about you by making adjustments to how you present yourself. Since the things people first notice about you are your eyes, your body, and your face, let's talk about how you can use them to make a great impression. So first, let's focus on the eyes. Eye contact is key. Eye contact builds trust, so looking someone in the eye while they're talking to you is an essential part of establishing trust. Psst, if you have a hard time with this one while engaging with someone, try to make a note of their eye color. For instance, let's say you're approaching someone. As you're walking toward them, try to detect the color of their eyes. Oh, and also remember that too much eye contact can be sort of creepy. When making conversation or listening intently, make sure to look away occasionally. You don't want your new acquaintance or possible love interest to think you're a psychopath. They'll figure that out later. Just kidding. Next, let's focus on your body, or rather, your body language. The way you position your body says a lot about how you feel and heavily influences the way people feel about you. Think about how you carry yourself. Do you have your arms crossed while you look at the floor? When you express yourself with this body language, people will feel a range of emotions about you dislike, discomfort, or even distrust. Avoid this by utilizing warm body language. Lean in slightly when people talk to you. Welcome people with a warm and firm handshake. Another trick is to consider where your heart is on your body, and consider where the heart is on the person you're talking to. Let nothing block the imagery line that goes from your heart to the heart of whomever you are speaking to. Standing like this communicates a willingness to openly connect. Another important aspect of body language in communication is imitation. We often imitate other people without thinking, like when someone around you is whispering and you can't help but whisper in response. Mimicking is normal and it can help establish a bond between you and the person you're communicating with. It can also be helpful to slightly adjust mannerisms and aspects of your personality to create a stronger connection. Consider if you were interacting with a timid person. If you focus on matching their softness with your own, communicating might be easier than if you approach them with loudness and aggression. Finally, smile. When interacting with someone, be the first to smile. This will communicate warmth and sincerity to others. If you don't like smiling or find it unnatural, say something like, great, three times in your head to make yourself do it. For instance, when you are initially walking towards someone, first make eye contact, then say great, great, great three times in your head to bring out a natural smile. This is a trick the author swears by, so give it a try. Also, make sure not to say this part out loud, which may be alarming to whoever you're approaching. So you've made eye contact, smiled, and your body language is open and on point. One key thing to remember about these three is that they need to be congruent. Your body language should match your face, etc. For instance, if you're smiling but have crossed arms, it sends a confusing message to the person you're communicating with. According to Albert Marabian, a UCLA psychology professor, congruence in what you say, how you say it, and how your body moves when you say it increases trustworthiness. We all know this is true. Just think about when you've asked someone how their day is going, and they've said great while they were frowning and they were looking at the ground. You immediately know that they weren't doing great. Remember, be congruent. Now that you've worked on these three, what's next? The next key aspect of making a great impression is forming a connection. The best way to do this with someone is to find common ground, 
which isn't as hard as it sounds. The author points out that in many of his business calls, the person he's talking with will often establish common ground quickly. For instance, by commenting on his accent and then sharing an anecdote about it. There's a reason his business partners do this. They know that finding common ground is a big deal when it comes to being likable. One of the best ways to create common ground is to assume rapport. And you can do it by pretending whoever you're talking to is one of your closest friends or family members. And like the author's business associates, feel free to comment on something you notice about another person that highlights a commonality you share, like a piece of clothing from a shop you also frequent. Another important part of forming a connection is by asking questions and listening. When it comes to talking to someone, make sure to ask questions that are open-ended and invite a response. Asking how was your day is more likely to invite a meaningful conversation than asking a simple yes or no question, like did you have a good day? Make sure to listen when people respond to your question. There are many ways to convey that you're paying attention when someone is talking. Make eye contact, face your heart and body towards the speaker, avoid interrupting the person who's speaking, nod in agreement when you agree with what they're saying, and respond with enthusiasm that shows you've been listening. For instance, if someone tells you about a stressful event in their life, an enthusiastic response would be, wow, that does sound stressful. The attitude you adopt in a conversation is also important. Useful attitudes are cheery, enthusiastic, confident, helpful, or laid back, for instance. Useless attitudes can be described as bored, conceited, anxious, rude, and many more. Can you spot the difference? One great thing about a useful attitude is that it can work wonders in helping yourself achieve a goal. For instance, let's say a waiter brought you the incorrect order at a restaurant. You can adopt a useless attitude by being rude and blaming your waiter for their mistake. Or you can adopt a useless attitude by being rude and blaming your waiter for their mistake. Or you can adopt a useful attitude and work with the waiter to get your order corrected. The outcomes with either attitude can vary dramatically. From impressing your table mates with your politeness to your waiter spitting in your food. Yuck. Because you've irritated them with your demeaning behavior. A useful attitude can work wonders. It can help you get what you want while making others feel good too. And there you have it. Tips for making a great impression in 90 seconds. Now get out there and get that second date, dream job, or incorrect order corrected. You can do it. Main takeaway. We all know people who are really nice once you get to know them. However, sometimes you need to make a good impression, and you need to do it fast. Like when you're on a date, or you need to wow someone at a job interview. In Nicholas Boothman's How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, he explains how to make a great first impression, and fast. Read on to learn why eye contact is key, why your body language could make you seem untrustworthy, and what to say to connect with someone you've just met. Hi, I'm Rhonda, and this is an exclusive audiobook video recorded for the Audiobook Master Channel. Enjoy your audiobook and have fun learning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll get updated on our next upload. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and say your thoughts about the book we just covered. Do you want to listen to a summary or review of a book that we haven't covered in the past? Say it in the comments below or send us a message. Don't forget to check our other uploads. Enjoy listening!